Where are you going? I I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Whenever she has a minute to spare, Talita Kaivi comes to play a little with Chiffon. The male chimpanzee lives at Chimfunshi Wildlife Orphanage, a sanctuary for animals in northern Zambia. Kalvi is a vet. Chiffon was a former pet, so he was with some with the family for very long of his life. So he does enjoy human interaction, which is different than a lot of our, our other chimps. So that's why we can get close to him. And he actually has the need of some kind of interaction, some kind of place, because he doesn't really know how to be a, a chimp, a chimp chimp. It's important to keep the chimps healthy. In the station's limited space, sick animals can quickly infect each other. Let me see your mouth. Let me see it. Let me see it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah! Chiffon lives in a separate cage with other chimps that have never learned social behavior in a troop and are therefore unable to integrate. Ah, you're gonna get it, both of us. All of the other chimps at the station live almost as they would in the wild. They can move about freely within a fenced-in area the size of about 200 football fields. Chimpanzees are very social. Still, if you want to draw their attention, you have to have something to offer. Most of the 120 or so animals at the station otherwise show little interest in humans. The way that we keep them as natural as possible, we face a few challenges. So we use opportunities like this as an enrichment to bring them close to us so that we can see them, so that I can check them. Um, and everything is voluntary, so I don't, I don't push them to come. A little bribe doesn't hurt, though. Chimps can always be tempted by a tasty snack. Almost all of the animals at Chimfunshi have experienced traumatic events in their lives. Many were ripped from their families at a tender age. Because chimps defend their young, that often entailed the slaughter of almost an entire band. The forests of Chimfunchi provide almost enough forage to meet the animals' needs, but not quite. So twice a day, staff here also prepare supplementary food for the chimps. It's served at their very own chimp restaurant. The animals are already waiting impatiently for the meal to begin. Innocent Mulenga heads the station. He's an expert on apes. He's been around some of the chimps since he was a child and knows how to handle them. We feed them in such a house because we want to separate the males from the females and the young ones because the males are dominant and they always want to eat everything. So this is why we separate them. It's unlikely any of the chimps here will ever join a troop again out in the bush. In the wild, their range grows more restricted year by year. Most of the chimpanzees at Chimfunshi come from uh, Congo, which is uh, like 18 kilometers from here. But in Congo, there's lawlessness there, there are wars there, and so these chimpanzees are prone to poachers and people that deal in bushmeat trade. In the last few years, the wildlife refuge has grown steadily. There's now a school for the children of the sanctuary's employees on the grounds of the station. Mulenga says the school has made a big difference for the people who work here. We, we've got our workers here that work for the chimps, and really there is no school anywhere near. So in 2007, we built this school so that their children can have a decent education. Chimfushi is not just about chimpanzees, but also about the humans, and this is why this project is looking at helping the children get the required education. Most of the funding comes from a German businessman whose brother helped set up the project 30 years ago. After his death, his family wanted to keep Chimfunchi going, 
and recently bought a nearby farm. It's meant to give the project longer-term perspectives and help it provide some of its own funding. On its grounds, fruit and crops are harvested to help feed the chimps, while cattle are raised to provide income. The first will soon be sold at market. More work for veterinarian Tarita Kaivi, who takes care of all of the animals at Chimfunshi. Out in the chimps' forest enclosure, feeding time is over. Things are peaceful on the grounds of the refuge, but to get here, it's taken a lot of hard work and plenty of willing hands. The core idea really is um, uh, for these chimps to have uh, a good home. Uh, this is why we have got all these big enclosures for them, like in here we've got 47 of them, and uh, we are there to provide protection for them. And the animals are in desperate need of that protection. No one knows exactly how many chimps are still in the wild. The best guess is around 300,000. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were likely millions. <laughs> 